we're going to start using Illustrator. We're just going to simply go ahead and create a simple light box. I'm just going to use my name, okay? And then the next step is we're going to do is create outlines. The next step we're going to do is we are going to copy it and paste it. And actually, we're going to go ahead and go to the Pathfinder and just combine all the strokes with that new copy. We're going to go ahead and offset the path of the outline. That's going to be the, the box around the design. I like it to all touch. That way is just one object. And I'll go ahead and adjust the color here. I like the inside being white. I'm going to also increase the line here a little bit more. I like it a little bit thicker. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and export that as a PNG. And we'll go on to the next step. I'm going to go ahead and go to image to keychain. I know this isn't wasn't the intended purpose of this, but it's really easy to use this. Go ahead and select. The only changes here is uh, you're going to change the image thickness. I like it 20 millimeters just uh, for various reasons. But for now, I'm just going to leave it at 20. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the plate and then make sure that the selection is double sided. Then on the image, you're going to select the design and change the thickness. I've been realizing is 0.6 has been a pretty good choice. So make sure you have your magic selection tool. Select both colors and change it to 0.6. Depending on how deep you want your box to be, either 20 just change the, the depth of the contour, and that is the front plate. Now let's take care of the back plate. Really easy. Just duplicate it, rename it, just that way you have some sort of sanity. Okay, the first thing here, we don't need really the design on the back, but if you do, I'll leave that up to you. I'll go ahead and just change it all to one single color, and then I change the thickness to two millimeters, and then we're going to go ahead and adjust the contour depth to one millimeter Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and open it and bamboo or whatever slicer you are using. And there you go. Adjust the colors or filament. As far as settings for the actual file, I'm just going to post the link somewhere accessible just so it's easier for me to just show it to you. There you go. You can go ahead and open up my other light boxes, take the settings out of it and save it as a preset. That way you can print as many light boxes as you want to make and you just keep using the same preset that I already figured out for everybody. So you are welcome. There you go.